Hey everybody, welcome back to Fairville Plays Undermine. Dude, you know what? We bought, we did in fact buy the, sh the shaker. Okay, I didn't know if it registered. Um, excuse me. <laughs> Sorry, hold on, we'll buy the bomb. What is this dude's name? Baglieb? Baglieb. What a great freaking name. All right, well with the power of Baglieb on our side, I don't think there's any possible way we could lose. Dude. Oh, and we, what is our blessing? This is uh, increased gold income. All right. Now, you might think that I'm happy about this blessing, but the truth is, is that it doesn't seem necessarily that good. I'm looking... Yes. Lose more gold on death. You know what? With wealth, I think that uh, minor clumsiness kind of balances out. So I'm not too upset about that. We're going for, like, 100% throw damage. Oh, dude, why are there mines in a freaking room like this we're going for 100 percent throw damage now look i did, last run i think it went really well this is gonna make like a hundred percent sense like i know like obviously this is gonna be true but hear me out last run went really well until it wasn't good anymore you know what i mean like we did we did really good up until like okay bad damage but that's fine sometimes you got to sacrifice a little bit for the greater good the greater good the greater good you know, it sometimes it went really well until it stopped going well. All we have to do this time is to keep it going well forever until we get to the end of the game. And if we could do that, I honestly think that we have the best chance of winning. You know, I, I am like, I'm getting a little bit self-conscious when it I know I shouldn't be. You know, I know it's a new game. It's a game that I don't have as much experience in. And, and oh my god, and genuinely, stop exploding everything, please. Do, but we did find a secret boy sweet i know it is a game that is like more on the difficult side i like i, I want to say maybe not compared to like other roguelikes that are out there but it is it is different than what i'm used to but i'm starting to get like a little self-conscious in the fact that we haven't been making as much progress as i would like so i would like to try to address that do you have throw swing speed swing damage maximum health you know what Sure. <laughs> might we might as well so now we have balance and we have wealth and we don't have to worry about any curses right now i mean the curse that we got rid of was it a detrimental one no oh dude rooks bombs these ones shoot at 90 degrees i assume is uh, we had it before but we didn't get to use it because oh dude curse man's here okay that's that's potentially big potentially big we had it before but we didn't get really get a chance to use it just because uh it fused with the 45 degree bombs and then we got the queen's bombs and then i died like immediately after dude that's something i didn't even think about that this game has synergies we should be on the lookout let's go down i'm nervous about this but maybe it's early on in the game where it doesn't matter find smaller boxes and big, bo big boxes gain maximum health when killing enemies okay Lose maximum health when killing enemies. All enemies ignite the peasant. Sweet. So once again, you know, whenever you're given a brief benefit in this game, you always have to remember that the game actually doesn't want to give you benefits, so it'll do everything in its power to make sure that, you know, anything that does help you, it'll, it'll take away very quickly. So now we both gain and lose. Well, you, you probably should have peeped the skeleton boys, dude. So now we gain and lose hp upon killing enemies and also i guess like it just reduced our overall hp because we dropped down like very low this is not a bad room i'm not i'm not too concerned about it there there has to be something more to like removing curses you know the salamander's wrath in my opinion is probably up there with one of the worst curses i've seen in the game dude fire damage is no joke yep that's good. Just keep popping them, brother. Fire damage is no joke. You get hit by something and you burn for, like, even a little bit, you're losing, like, half of your HP. Especially since I don't have any... What a, what a jump. I don't have any HP to begin with, so I'm not, like, in the best situation for this. But we take it slow. We take it easy. But, yeah, you know, I... I, I it, I feel weird, like, apologizing for, like, a video game, but I do feel like I haven't been making as much progress as we did at the beginning of the series, you know? At the beginning of the series, dude, we were tearing through. Do you remove curse? Regenerate health over time. 
it's not a it's not a it's not a bad thing for us. Uh, we do want to like maybe find ourselves another altar room and then just from there Oh, dude, I didn't even see that there were friggin bugs here And then from there we could try to just get rid of some natural curses dude. No the burning starting It's so aggressive But I am like I'm looking to progress further in this game and I, I, I You know, I think it's it's been pointed out to me that based on what we have unlocked right now we shouldn't be getting down as far as we've been able to get down anyway so i guess i could be happy with that give me a key i can open up a thing dude i did this by accident oh my god oh my god oh no there are other mimics don't look at this 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 is spoilers you're not allowed to look at the spoilers i would very much like to get into this item room because we don't really have the best selection of, of assortments right now. Yo, that's a cursed chest. That can, in fact, actually maybe provide me with a key. Yep. So now we're going to burn. So that's good. Really happy about this. Just take it slow. Take it easy. I, you get flustered in the game. There is a fire crystal with the ability to maybe cook some food right now. So we're just going to go with that real quick. Does my pickaxe not make food? I don't care. Take all the money. I'm learning. Pickaxe? Oh, dude. Does, in fact, cook food. Also, maybe be careful about setting, like, you know, the oil on fire. 35 HP is good. A bunch of bombs. Secret rooms are even more secret. All right. You did not have a key for sale, did you, Mr. Shop? Of course not. Why would you? Okay. Well, you know what? K okay, sera sera. The one benefit, if we manage to get rid of some of these curses, we should be getting, like, a bunch of HP. Hold on, I'm gonna take a drink. Mmm. I really... I don't want this to be another run where we just don't get any keys. And then, as a, like, as a result of not getting any keys, the run is just doomed because we just don't get anything. Oh, thank you so much, Thorium. Those who watch from above, I want to just thank you for the blessing. You know what? In the world of roguelikes... Sometimes, so it's hard to let the salt not flow through the, the veins. You know, sometimes you just got to embrace it. Free bomb. I'm down for that. I think we're just going to spend this key right away. Conductor is good with the bird. All we need to do is make sure that the bird survives long enough to actually get to its final form. And we have a nice passive income of damage. I'm, I'm, not, ha I'm not upset about that at all. Three bombs to remove a curse. Yes. It got rid of the one that I honestly didn't care about having. Duplicates all basic items. We could, you know what? For two bombs, I think it's worth grabbing. Because worst case scenario, we could use it in our shop. Can I just, can I make an, a, a suggestion, a suggestion to the game? I know I'm not a game designer, and apparently I can't even say the word suggestion. However, hear me out, because I think this one might be a banger, dude. You're trying to get me with all this freaking oil everywhere? Nah, 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 brother. Can you just, like, make it so that shops aren't locked? Like, it doesn't even make sense. If I was a shopkeeper, why in God's name would I lock my shop during, like, regular business hours? It doesn't... It, 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 it betwixt the mind. I will do this. Unless there's throw damage. In which case, I will take throw damage. Decreased, decreased swing speed? Whatever, that's fine. All right. There are no freaking keys in this shop. We could double and, and get the bombs back, but like, you know, who cares? I need keys, dude, not bombs. If it, I'm set for bombs. I was able to spend five freaking bombs in this run without any, like, issue, nor really any concern. Dude, these new, like, bomb-throwing boys, not a problem. These are, the, these are the speed in which enemies I'm okay with dealing with, you know? Toss a bomb every couple seconds not an issue well i mean there is one more room to explore i think we're just gonna go we are gonna be looking out for throw damage like if we could get the ricochet pickaxe the guidance pickaxe i think that would be good too we are looking for a good opportunity in which to use our popcorn which dude i've been doing like a little bit of side research into undermine you know if i can't progress in the game like through ability and skill, at least I would like to progress through the game through my knowledge. But I, I have learned that the the popcorn items do 33 throw damage. That's, that's, it might not look like a lot because these enemies take like four hits to die. 
But that's really... Oh, substantial throw damage. I forgot about the conductor, brother. Come at me, Bobo, you monster. Another shop that's behind a freaking keyed door. But I've been doing, like, research into, like... The undermine itself and like, you know, basically tips and tricks that will help me progress a little bit better and Popcorn there's there's Duplicate items, which is really good. Oh, dude. Thank you, Bobo. I Will in fact open this and not get a key really happy about that Level up. He's he's transcended. All right. The money should be flowing a lot faster now. Potions, I think I've been, like, underestimating, which which is fine for now because, like, ideally we want to, like, unlock more potion slots. And this, this way, if we could get, like, a whole bunch. Like, I, I don't know how many potions you can have, but I know we can upgrade it to at least two. But even then, like, if we manage to get, like, two of these popcorn kernel potions, that doubles all the items and then doubles them all again. So that's a power of two or four. I don't know, man. I'm not a mathematician. Uh, excuse me. I really thought that I pressed the jump button there, but apparently that's not the case. This is fine. Do we got to find a way to get rid of uh, Salamander's Wrath. Bomb it. Remember the direction of the boom. Thank you for giving me my bombs back once again. Oh, good. It's a trap chest that's full of bombs. I need keys, man. You, you genuinely you're actually like causing detrimental harm to me here I, I know that it's you know it's the troll engine of the game but can it not be we're actually i don't think i think we just have to go can there be keys in like these oil barrels no huh well oh no it's another friggin cursed boy. I don't think I could afford to take any more Unless he has something really good You know what I could do this not an issue ready time it run What's the secret don't stop moving you stop <laughs> moving you're already dead brother now This is gonna be a slight issue because I don't know where to stand to not get destroyed Easy, please don't be trapped. It's a freaking key. I can't believe we got hit. Whatever, man. I can't believe the luck in which we've just uh, stumbled upon here, but we did in fact get a key. Now, this is gonna be a risk, but I think you go into the shop and hope it has a key for sale that you could grab for free. Please don't let me down. I love it, yo, yo, popcorn kernels. Check it. Spend them. Drink it. Spend them again. That's what I've been acqui- <laughs> My throat stopped. That's what I've been acquiescing about all my life. All right, dude, now we're fine. Look at that, three keys, eight bombs, no HP, but you know, that's fine. I, I think I just have to get into the mindset. No, 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 we could grab that, that's fine. Dude, 30 base healing from a single raw meat, decent. Oh, and it's the battle standard, AKA decent item. Increase move attack and throw speed at the beginning of the battle. So this does help our throw build Um, I'm a little concerned about getting more curses just because the ones we have are already really really bad We have to get rid of the poison mushroom. It's taken away 50 base HP from us And apparently our mushroom has only given us six So I want you know you could use that as a good like barometer just to how stupid these curses are Chakram unique throw throw a whirling blade of death well, that sounds pretty good. And we've had the rabbit's gloves. You know what? Sure. Kill me. All enemies inflict poison. Take damage for each potion in each room. Uncooked food is less effective and has a chance to poison. My freaking god. But we have a unique throw? Oh! Dude! You send it out, and then you click to recall. Um... We're probably gonna die. <laughs> Consider it this way. Can I use it for like everything? I can't use it to break stuff. All right, this seems good. What is this like? Basically, this is a free item that lets us like throw our boy and then just like, it's a set it and forget it. And as somebody who loves to forget things, that's huge for me. Dude, six, 76 thorium in the bank. We gotta remove curses. Galoshes. Helps a little bit. This is a unique looking room. There might be a secret here, but like, I'll be honest with you. Who, who's got the time for that? All right. Um, 
I hate to say it. Yeah, that seems really good. That seems really good if I can, in fact, hit the enemies with it. I guess you could kind of you could kind of click where you want it to go, dude. Already loving this so much. <laughs> I'm really happy that I've I've built up a pseudo. Um, remember that there is fire. I'm kind of happy I built up a pseudo throw build, and then we got this because this seems great. Do you have like anything that removes curses, please? I will buy a key. Pilfer's ring. I just I I don't see the point. Like, unless we want to be lazy, or unless we're not expecting to get the bird to his final form. But, uh, we just basically, we've reached a run where we can't get hit. Because if we get hit, we burn, and then we also get poisoned. Which, I'm pretty sure, based on the damage output of this game, means that one hit will kill us. So let's just, let's just not. The money is great, we're getting, like, 33 gold for, like, these, like, standard chunks. And even then, it's not that much. I wonder if, like... Oh my god. Well, we're gonna find out just how much damage we take. A lot. Stand right there. Move forward. Yo, this this might be really good against the Tooth Demon. Oh, can I also, like... Don't get scared. Can I walk into the Chakram to pick it up? You can, in fact, walk into the Chakram. Hey, game devs. Oh, no. It's a scary room. It's a scary room, dude. Pop the spiders. Worry about the healers later. What a what a great item. Alright. And just like that, my mood has been elevated to such a high level. We desperately, desperately, desperately need to remove curses. Absolutely. But right now, I'm happy with this. 75 to remove a curse? Are you, are you out of your freaking mind? Dude, the curses you get from the altars are, like, not bad at all. You know? Like... Lose more gold on death? Whatever. That had a chance to poison us, but it didn't. I, I remember that. See? Learning, boys. The curses you get from the altar, they don't seem that bad. The curses you get from, like, Demon Man are just, like, just unacceptably rancid. Hmm. But the fact that we've made it down this far means that I guess we're, we're okay. <laughs> Sorry, I had to take a, a quick drink of my caffeine. But here's my one complaint or my one, like, potential issue with, um... Yes, it is called Chakram. With the Chakram, I'm gonna, like, absolutely... Not today, brother! I'm gonna absolutely forget about recalling it not into the ditch! That's fine. Yeah, no. You know what? 28 damage? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Do you see, like, how unfair this damage output is? It's nothing is on the same level. Just fall. I'm so upset. I'm actually mad. <laughs> like... Very rarely... We're doing another run, okay? Freaking Ben Blood. You better make this work. Very rarely... Very rarely... Do I ever pull the this is not fair card? I'll be honest with you, you know, I'd, I'm a, I'm a, you know, I'm a, I'm a precarious gamer. However, it's a little bit much. Can't afford that. Can't afford anything. We're going down with a single key. That's fine. What are you? Transforms all relics in the room. You know what? Sure. We might as well bring it. Maybe we could change something that we don't want into something we want. I'm doing another run. It's it's, it's going to be a, a potentially longer video, but we're, we're doing another run. What is this? Increase bomb size? Good. We're starting out with something that is literally useless to us because nobody will ever use bombs for damage. You know what? I started this episode with being a happy boy. Now I'm salty. Very rarely. Very rarely. Hopefully... You know, by now my personality has shown through a little bit in these videos. Hopefully. You know, I like to think that. Maybe that's kind of like the, the point of YouTube content creation. You get to share your personality with the world. Very rarely will I like look at something in a video game and be like, that's a little bit unfair. All of that 
everything that just happened in that room probably like some of like the worst single-handed experience i've ever like had to deal with in my 26 years of life now was some of it my fault yeah yeah you're n absolutely but also like was it though <laughs> was it really oh dude well because i don't know my lesson i'm gonna open up both of these okay so shop is locked up tight whatever enemies inflict poison but we did get a popcorn kernel so we can like double all this which is i think worth it oh and we did get a blessing which is more swing damage okay now you might be saying you just died because of all of your bad curses and now you're doing this yeah i'm gonna do this okay you know why because it's you gotta learn through like give me the throw damage increase the cost of shop items whatever we don't buy anything anyway doesn't matter not in the slightest the only way we can learn is through like uh what's the saying if you can't stand the heat get out of the kitchen well in this situation we're embracing the kitchen and we're going in while wow, there's like a raging inferno going throughout everything freaking gordon ramsay's in the corner yelling at the poor children who's trying to clean the dishes being like why is it so hot in this kitchen and the, and the kid's gonna be like i don't know man i i just come here after school every thursdays and wednesdays so i could clean the dishes and help pay for my community college but no because you know why it's so hot in here it's because i'm the freaking raging inferno that's what we're doing here i do not care also my sweet god I guess we should probably shouldn't have taken all those like incredible curses but like if chakram ever shows up again and i say ever show up again just because i have no faith in this game for actually like giving me stuff i need what are you the keyblade it's literally a keyblade increase swing damage for each key that you have Ooh. okay now historically keys are the one item that we never have but right now we have plus eight swing damage, which seems like, I guess that seems good. I don't know. I wonder if there's a limit to how many keys you could have. Maybe it's like Isaac where you could have like up to 99. And if that's the case, yeah, it's plus two damage for every key that we carry. Now, obviously this isn't like, that's pretty, that's pretty substantial. Now, obviously this isn't damage that, uh, that we should like expect to keep keys we're just we're gonna lose can you one shot the baby rats you can one shot the baby rats do 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 Fairville, you can't make reference to children's videos anymore the copa is gonna come after you ah, i'm sorry sometimes <laughs> we deserve to get hit there but we didn't thank you game all right salty Fairville cannot salty Fairville can become appreciative Fairville every once in a while send him goodbye can I use you to, like, destroy locked doors? Because I would like to not use a key. But I think, hey, you know what? Credit where credit's due. The shop is not locked. Sweet. Go in here. What do you get? This is more secret rooms? Yes. Discover more secret rooms. With seven bombs, I think that's, like, pretty pretty okay. Y you know what? I've, I've, I'm noticing what the issue is. The issue is, is that in order to remove a curse, we need to pay a substantial amount of HP. Substantial amount of HP cannot be get because of how much you need. You know what? I don't care about saving money. I don't care about saving money. Give me the keys. We break even with damage on this one. And I don't know if we can maybe find like some more popcorn kernels and then like bring it into a shop and like double it. The shop will have like 17 keys available to begin with. And then we could just like get straight cash money and then die because I take bad curses. Yeah, no, that's fair. I'm really happy that these enemies have the ability to fire at an incredible instance. And it doesn't matter where you're standing when they pop up. All that matters is where you're standing in the split second that they decide to actually take their shot. It's really it's really rewarding game design. Oh good, and now I'm being poisoned to death. What a, what a day to be alive. I think I just need... Oh, he's also blast resistant, which is something that I've learned. Now I'm going to be like just salty for the rest of this video. You'll have to forgive me, but I'm going to let you know now. This way you can at least like get used to it. What was I going to talk about? I, d I think I need to get into the mindset that any damage that we take is just permanent. Like, honestly. We just assume that you get hit, you lose that HP for the rest of the game. Because I, we, we can't rely on the game to supply us with anything in a positive manner. Despite me, like, being a salty boy right now, I want you to know I am, in fact, like, enjoying this game a lot. <laughs>
Transmute a carried relic. Tra oh, dude, a carried relic. Well, blessings aren't relics, right? So really our only relics are the adventurers had in the Keyblade. I will trade one bomb uh, for some food because this is the world that we live in now. And honestly, I don't care about bombs. Like, I know I, maybe I should. Maybe bombs are like just why was there a live bomb planted next to me? Did I do that? Did I panic and fat finger the button? Because I've done that before, but I don't think I did it just then. I don't want to like... I, uh, I, I, maybe bombs are really good. Holy... I'm sorry, you want four keys to get into a shop? That's what that curse does? I thought it just meant shops are guaranteed to be locked. You want an, a, a, a 75% increase in keys to get in? For one curse? Are you out of your freaking mind? Is that there's nothing about this game is equivalent exchange? What hit me? <laughs> Literally everything about this game is so far outweighed to damage you in every possible regard. I cannot believe it. Four keys to get into a shop because of a curse. What did we even get? Get rid of a curse, dude. Don't get rid of the easy one. Oh my god, thank you. What are you? Increase attack damage and speed when killing enemies. Good for clearing rooms. I'm happy with that. Ah, oh, I think somebody freaking stepped on the pressure plate. I'm, Dude, I don't care. I'm spending keys. Let me in. Regenerate health over time. I'm buying my keys back. For, we haven't... We've yet to been able to break over... Um, five keys total whatever that's fine brother i think i think that's totally worth taking you know why because damage is damage okay so now that we've gotten rid of the curse that makes it cost a stupid amount of keys in order to get into a single shop which by the way is like just just insubordination at this point you know you want to talk about abuse of power thorium devs i get it you know i get it by the way, I want you to all know, I am enjoying the game and I'm not being quirky. This is more so me playing it up for a bit. I get it, you want to be quirky, you know? You want to be known as the devs that make a challenging roguelike game. You're like, hey, you know what would be cool? How about if we uh, punish the players incredibly, but also non-stop, and then also make it incredibly difficult for them to remove the curses, therefore dooming their run? Oh, and then also, why don't we make the a single uh, run last at least an hour and a half? I think that'll be good too because this way they build up an immunity to to our just rancid bullshit and then also maybe then we could like you know ruin their days in different ways too yeah get rid of a curse not the one i wanted to get rid of but that's fine you know it's not like i would be uh, it's not like i'd be able to choose which uh curses i would want to remove no that would just be too beneficial to the player we can't have that in a video game like this right a video game such as undermine aka yeah, one of the most intense MLG games to ever come out. No. Players are not allowed to have personal choices in video games anymore, boys. It's It's been deemed too OP by the developers. You just get what you want. Overstock the shop. Potentially good. You know what, actually? Let's see how, how overstocked this is. I don't know if we've had this before. We've had... Other chest-based items. You get two extra items. Fire some fireballs. And a key. Which I will take. You might be saying... I've... Like, we've lost money. We're not going to be making money on this run. That's that's just... This is just the truth of the situation. We're not going to be making any money on this run. However, I'm on a mission to, like, progress something. And whatever that progression is... Oh my god, dude. I don't know what hit you. I think it was a return of the pickaxe, aka return of the king. We are so fast. Yo, war paint? I like you. Thank you for being what I would consider a good item. Devs? I know, I know, I know I have a lot of clout in the undermine community. It just it's part of who I am. Just because I enjoy this item doesn't mean you're allowed to nerf it into like friggin' the eternal abyss. I'm getting another curse. I don't care. More bombs and a blessing. Right. Because the game obviously knows that your boy really wants keys. What is this? Torches and lanterns fire fireballs? Devs, come on. I think I have it worked out, though. 
Like, I think, like, the the altar is, like, they're, like, minor curses. Curses where it's, like, whatever, you know? Otherwise known as normal curses that I'm okay with taking. And then any other source of curse. Oh, boy, this is a dangerous spot to be. No, Bobo! And I'm poisoned, too. Great. What a day to be alive. Any other, any other source of curse is just... It's just, like, unfair. <laughs> but you know what? It's fine. I'm gonna get used to it. I'm not salty. Look at that. We still have, like, half of our HP and we're going down to the second floor. What, what a day to be alive. I'm not worried about this at all. So now we're at the point. I don't know which one I would rather remove. Well, I mean... Torches shooting at us is bad, but maybe they don't... I don't know. I'm a, See, here's the thing. It doesn't make sense for them to count as enemies but because it doesn't make sense i'm assuming that it will count as an enemy so i'm just gonna work under the assumption that getting hit by this fire means that i'll also be poisoned because it would make sense for it not to do that and i have no faith that the devs would cut me a break once again i'm not salty at this game oh my god yo it, that didn't count as poison damage it didn't count as poison damage it is just enemy damage my god We've been given a break. Kill it before it has a chance to electrocute everything. Beautiful. You know what? Fire shot. If, dude, if I gotta deal with this stuff, I might as well start abusing it for power! Use one of your many keys, get into the item. Is this the, the gold? Gold? It hit the golden popcorn and not me. I could have sworn I was about to be boasted. Golden popcorn, more money. Honestly, we could kind of use it. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Sometimes drop a new key when using an old key. Remove a curse. Yes. 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 You know what? Honestly, I hate to say it, but I think that's the one I would have preferred to have lost. So, good. Uh, the key duplicator might be a decent get. Because at the very least, maybe, maybe... Once again, you're not allowed to have guarantees in this game, but maybe we'd be able to break even when it comes to uh, using keys, which for the Keyblade would be just massive, so it's not bad. I really don't like... I'm gonna... We're gonna get those keys. Like, don't get me wrong. It's two free keys, brother. Obviously, we're gonna go for it. Can I bomb spikes to destroy them? No, but in a way that still worked. Alright, plus 14 damage with the Keyblade. Seven keys in the bank. Gonna use one. I hate doing this, but give me more damage. What are you? Decrease throw speed? That's not as bad. Venomous is still, like, just rancid. But that's not as bad. Give me the fire damage, dude. I don't care. If, if I had to burn, then so do you. Send them. Send them. And rooms that have, like, a whole bunch of enemies, I just don't care about anymore. Because, oh, no. No. All right, well. You know what? It has to be really good. Otherwise, I'm not taking it. It's got to be good. Mjolnir, I don't like. Health damage and healing become small and even. What? Karmic scale. Health, damage, and healing become small and even. I get it. It's like, it's Libra. I understand that. Why would I want, first of all, five curses? Are you out of your freaking mind? And then on top of, you know what? No. Transmute all relics in the room. They're not relics. They're blessings. Mjolnir I don't care about. Why would I want why would I want my health damage and healing to become small and even? It, it, you, you, like you're not selling me on these items, Thorium. You know, not for nothing. But you know, I hate to say it, I think that was our best our best bet at survival is to just take nothing. Mjolnir, it's not that it's bad. It's just that I don't care about it. No. You're not allowed to hit me. Brother War pain is active. No one is leaving this room alive. Thank you for the food. We're actually recovering like a decent amount of HP. I don't know if we actually ended up being able to buy the T the the T. The key duplicator on the last uh on the last floor. 
I'll be honest with you. I don't think it matters. Like, our, our damage is substantial enough where I'm okay with using a couple keys. What is this? This is new. Salamander Tail. Chance on hit to ignite your enemies? Hold on. This seems like a, 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 a quality of item that I would have to accept, like, 17 horrible curses first. All right. That's fair. Hit me. Whatever. You know what? A little bit of damage every once in a while. Just, just to... Give me my weapon back, please. Thank you. Just so you remember who's in charge, which is not me. It is, in fact, the game. That's fine, too. Salam Salamander Tail seems really nice. We do have a substantial amount of HP. I will use a key to go in here. 75 to remove it. Get rid of the Venomous, please. Please, just get rid of it. Oh, my God. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> I'm slowly losing my freaking mind, brother. Now, when we get hit, we just take the recommended damage brought upon by the game. Can we use Salamander Tail to cook food? Hold on, I'm not using a key for this. I'm using a bomb. I've learned. Yep, yeah, that's fair. You know what? Really happy I did, in fact, not use a key for that. And dude, secret room right down here. Maybe I'm... We should probably, like, honestly, we should do, the, like, this also in Isaac, but I guess in Undermine, too. We really gotta start, like, using our secret rooms to a better, um, capability. You know what? I, I think I realized some of my issues. Just because you can take, like, a bunch of curses doesn't mean you should. I have... Oh. Alright. We're so close to 99, which lets us buy that thing that we unlocked, like, a while ago. You got food? <clears throat> Excuse me. Can I cook your food? Are you out of your mind? I can cook food in the shop, but then it doubles the price of the food. How does that make sense? I'm gonna buy it because I'm salty. But like, do you see? Do you see, you see what I mean about the game not giving you, like, a single thing? You would think that, like, in, you know, again, I'm not salty. But you would think, like, in any other situation, if you were able to pull off the very rare synergy of actually being able to cook your food on demand without having to rely on, like, an exploding barrel or, like, random fireballs, you would be rewarded for being able to do that. But no, in this game, you get the very rare synergy that lets you actually have the power to cook your food and what does the game do oh you cooked your food in the shop before you bought it because you can't buy it first and then like cook it later well now we have to increase the cost of the food by like literally a hundred percent why i don't know well you know we don't want the game to be too easy for you uh, you know we want the people to have a sense of pride and accomplishment <laughs> freaking losing my freaking mind brother but again, I'm not salty. Stop giving me this item. Drop some protein. You know what? Yes. Because this is it's one of the rare situations where the game can't screw me over. Oh my god, I almost walked into the friggin' Beyblade of Death. We now have the power to drop meat and cook it at our own leisure. And the game can't take that away from me. You know what? Try. I dare you. Try to make me feel bad about actually getting one up on you. I understand. I understand why the game is so hard on you. These guys, like... You can hit me from there, can't you? You know what? Deal with the deal with this dude first. He's easy. Give yourself a sense of, like, actually progression. I think these dudes just, like, take, like, no throw damage. And, like, you have to get in there and, like, beat them. Also, apparently I used the key to unlock this item room, which is fine. I was going to anyway. The ability to find food in chests. Now, I think we already had that ability, but if it's an increased chance, that's huge. Thank you. All right, you know what, game? You're starting to work with me here a bit. Dude, it's like, I don't, you know, I don't mean this, like, in a literal sense, but, like, you know, the game, it's kind of like that person you went to high school with who was, like, kind of a jerk. You know, it's not like they, they didn't outright bully you in any situation, but... Yeah, give me more throw damage. Increased shop cost whatever i'm not bombing that friggin cursed lantern no 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 he's on his own the game is like the guy you went to school with kind of a jerk didn't really like you know you guys didn't get along too much but at the same time you know he was there and now like 
the days passed and like you've gone on. No, dude. Stop this. Kill kill the spawners. Remember there are pressure plates here. Yeah, the fire. Okay. So much happens in these rooms, huh? An ungodly amount of things takes place, like, throughout this room. Ah! <laughs> oh, my favorite. It's a room that's completely empty and I don't have to worry about. Alright, dude, killing it. One more single room to get through. You're gonna fire, brother? Yep. Dude, let me, f just let me fight rats every single freaking time. I got the rat movement down. You see that gold over there? I do want it. But it better not cost me any HP. Alright, we're, we're going. We're going. There's so much gold bouncing, brother. You gotta go for it. That's like $90 right there. That's like 17% of a key. That's right, I'm being salty again. But yeah, and then like, after like college or something, the game reaches out to you and it's like, Hey, remember we went to high school together? I'm like, yeah, I remember. I hated you. Oh, dude. This makes sense to do. Drop the meat. Cook it all. Acquire full-ish HP. Buy that. Yeah, I, th I think this is worth it. Transforms all relics in the rooms. No, 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 no. Not, not in today's economy, brother. I mean, did we actually, did that make any sense to do? I don't want to go, I don't want to go into the shop just yet. I do think that was uh, it was one of the situations in which we did make a good choice. We could bomb these rocks, right? Correct. Don't step on Spike. Give me something. Oh, dude, it's the freaking gold chest. I forgot these existed. Why? Because I haven't seen one in like 14 episodes. Fair, well, that's not true. You're exaggerating for the sake of comedy. Oh, chat, you know me so well. If by some rare occasion we get the float boots, yeah, we're going for that chest. But until then... Oh, dude, there's a fire imp! Wait! A... <laughs> Come on, man! I was doing so well. That's fine. Remember, fire imp don't burn, brother. Fire imp don't burn. Burn. We have the ability to heal ourselves. Oh, my God. All right. This, this, this is like the floor when like things start getting a little bit dicey. You got to quickly scan the room. You got to do a survey, you know? What is in this room? What needs to die sooner rather than later? The bugs? Whatever. There's a lot of gold there. Bird, it's up to you. If you can supply your father with copious cashola. Actually, you know what? Like, the gold that we've made, it, we, we don't get poisoned when we get hit anymore. What a, what a concept, huh? Who would, can you imagine getting hit? I hate you. Can you imagine not getting hit? Or oh, Hold on. Wait, there's a meme template here. Can you imagine getting hit and not burning to death? This meme was brought to you by the fucking Balance Your Game gang. <laughs> Fair of all. Stop being salty at the game. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just sometimes it... Sometimes the passion burns bright. Damn. Oh my god. There's so much. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck, and for a second there, I thought I would just, like, fall into the torch and burn to death. But it did not happen. I'm really proud of myself. Alright, what floor is this? Dungeon 4? Dude, I hate to say it. We might have a chance. <laughs> There's the golem. These curses, I don't mind taking, like, baby curses. Get four stacks of balance is great. Reduce maximum health, whatever. It, like, it does like... It doesn't matter if you have, like, a thousand HP in this game or ten. You get hit once, you die anyway. So, like, I don't care. What does it matter? I think we just go. I don't care enough to grab Kurt's stash. I think I understand how it works. I think I've been able to figure it out. It reduces its, its count by one every time you get a curse. And then if you get it down to zero, I guess the box opens. Here's the thing, man. Do I look like somebody who wants to get 10 more curses? Honestly, credit where credit's due. I don't think I can get 10 more curses. I think, like, we really just have to... That's helpful. Thank you. I think we really just have to, like... The only way we can is if we get Demon Man. 
and uh, 66 HP? I didn't know such a large number in the player's, like, benefit existed in this game. Oh, dude, it's the friggin' swirly boys. Our throw damage is good, right? Because we're still, like, in the 30s. 42 is better. Alright, I get it. You know, it's, it's just like in Pokemon. You gotta... Poison me, I don't care. That's fine. We, we have healing, remember? Spider's poison. We do want to try to get rid of the minor blisters. I think that's, like, genuinely something that has to go. Anything that in, that inhibits our, our throwing abilities are, at the end of the day, a huge detriment to us. So it is something that has to go. The bird is getting close to being max level once a freaking gen. Oh, hello, it's you. Dude, I'm not afraid of gargoyles anymore. Whatever, dude. Get bombed, brother. Gargoyles? Put me in a room full of them, I can handle them. For some reason... Fairville, what's your least favorite enemy in Undermine? I'm glad you asked, random commenter. Let me let me explain it to you in a simple turn. If I have a room full of bats, I'm immediately hating my life. You know what? Let's do the protein. Yeah. Pop it. You might as well. Cook your steaks. Sweet. We're at full HP. Yeah, okay. What do you do? Drop some useful items. We could use this to get a key. Is it worth it? Yeah, I think I think it is. We also get more meat out of it, but that's like not really not really anything to write home about. Alright, dude. And yes. Give me more throw damage, brother. You gave me another stack of blisters? That's really bad. <laughs> Oh, I hear I hear an imp. I hear an imp. Yes, there is an imp and there's Throbo. Okay. Throbo is responsible for, I think, like, breaking our game last time. So let's just try not getting hit by him. Please, brother. Also remember, he does contact damage. You know, the, the reduced throw speed isn't bad. If we, like, uh, what are you? Discover the secret shop? I'm taking this just in case there's, like, a rat in this game or something. Hold on, there's a secret shop? Dude. Do you have anything special to say? Thank you for being a loyal customer. Okay, so it's another shop. Gain health instead of taking damage? Too dangerous. You buy it. You use it. You take your protein shake. You grab your free boys. You also buy that and have plus 16 damage from the Keyblade. And in addition to that, you have 8 keys ready to go. Okay, this is only Hall's 1. Which means that there's still so much time for things to go wrong that it's ridiculous. But I think we finally have... Oh no, it's, it's a bat room. I think we finally have a plan. Are you, do you see what I gotta contend with right now? Not only are there bats, that's fine. 30 damage, whatever. It's gotten to the point where I'm indifferent about it. We have the ability to heal ourselves. Yes, I will go in here. Give me something good. No longer having to worry about spikes, in my opinion, is very good. Go down. We're ready. Mmm. Okay. Dude. Feeling happy. We got our item right away. Get, the gold is now becoming actually substantial to the point where, despite spending, he's reached level 3. This is a good item, right? Increase health, swing damage, and attack speed. Oh, it's the run, boys! It's still really slow. I hear the fire imp. I hear his freaking maniacal cackle. Yep, he's here. You know what? Thank you for alerting me of his abilities to cause damage this is dude this is insane throw damage we really gotta get rid of the the clumsiness or the blisters excuse me if we could get rid of blisters like i think we have a chance of actually beating the boss i really do i'm happy because like we need it that's fine boneman aka skeletons not an issue do we have boots that let us walk on uh, lava? Not lava. 
No, we have boots that let us walk on spikes. Okay, remember that. Our one weakness right now is missing our throw. Because otherwise, then we have to wait for the freaking pickaxe to come back on natural. And, like, it's... No. Nah. It takes a little bit too time. A little bit too time, you know, as they say in kindergarten. Hmm, how long does it take for father to come back with the cigarettes? Mm, it takes two time, ma'am. Bird, get my money. Thank you. Shop. Dude, I'm feeling good. After, like, this salt-crusted run, I'm feeling good. Increased defense. You actually sell relics? Temporarily increase throw damage. Eh. You know what? We got the money. Give me the ages. I mean, chances are we're going to get down to low health. We might as well just get ready for it, right? Um, what is this room? Oh, God. All right. So, oh, I get it. This is the room where I die. Interesting. You got to, like... Honestly, those enemies, we've dealt with them before. You just have to kill them, like, as soon as possible. Please, for the love of God, nobody step on any of these... Freaking egg sacks. Egg sacks. Ah! Stop it. Stop burning. Stop burning, dude. That's too much. That's too much burning. Alright, take it slow. Take it slow. There's nothing in here that can cause like immediate harm to you other than yourself. So in this situation, there's a lot of fire. Can't help but notice that there's like an incredible amount of fire. A, a growing amount of fire. And I keep missing my throws. So this is not good. Please stop taking away my movable terrain. I think uh, to be safe, we use our potion. Dude, I forgot that we had war paint. Don't push me in the fire, brother. Bird, get the gold. We can't take it with us, but you can. Oh yeah, no, these blisters have to go. All right. Especially now. Thank you for not doing fire damage. You know, credit where credit's due. That food's gonna, like, get destroyed. I don't trust the game to not break it. Thank you, game. Okay. Um, you know what? That's exactly why we buy the potions and we have a plan. In case of rooms like this. We're allowed to come across rooms that cause issues every once in a while. It's a perfectly normal part of the game. You just have to be able to deal with it. Our throw damage, or our throw speed is so bad that it is causing issues. So it's just, if we do come across a blessing room, a shrine, I think we take the HP hit, we accept it, and we just like move on with our lives. You're not going to come back to life if I leave a skull, right? I know they can, but it seems like they don't sometimes. Okay, if you're close, they do a little swipe attack instead of a bone throw. Bone throw seems easier. And I think we're at the point where our throw damage, as long as we're hitting, is probably more substantial than our swing damage. So, yes, we're going to do this. Little birdie, pick up the gold, brother. We've lost, we've used so many keys, man. Okay. Don't get hit by the spiders. Spiders poison. Alright. Next? I don't know, man. I guess, like, Gargoyle, dude. Get him down. Bomb him. Easy. Dude, I've, I'm, I'm, I'm in, like, the undermine zone right now. Nothing can stop me. I'm a living tribunal. Goodbye. Okay. Cook you. Thank you. For, I didn't even notice the fish dropping. 66 extra HP is massive. I'm really looking for something good here. Deals even more damage when you critical strike. Dylan's Claw? You fit the, the parameters of a good item. We're losing a lot of extra damage here. Oh, but this is only swing damage, so who cares? Heal over time for each curse. Remove a curse. I'm buying the holy water. Get rid of the blisters. Come on, brother. It's been done! Yes! <laughs> we can throw at a rate of great speed. Oh, my God. It feels so good. Give me the throw speed. Free my soul. Dude, we have a chance. We have a chance. I haven't felt like we had a chance in this game for quite a while now. But we have a chance. Alright. 
The only thing, being able to one-shot the bombs, massive for my morale. One-shotting the bats, even better. The only thing that could end us right now is, well, there, there's realistically two things, right? A uh, really bad room where we just take like an ungodly amount of damage and burn to death. No. Nope. No, 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 no. Not gonna do it. Not gonna do it. Your boy's learning. None of those are beneficial to us. I don't care about getting a little bit of more extra gold. And I really don't want to deal with somehow picking up blisters again. So that's fine. We, we go down to the final... F well, not the final floor because there's the floor after it now. We go down to like our final floor. Our slash final floor. Why? Throbo, you had to create six freaking spiders before you jumped into a pit and ended your career? What are the two... Th Oh, I didn't know that spiders did contact poison damage. That's cool. Oh, no. Hello? Where, are these mineables? I guess not, huh? Hey, you guys are back. There looks to be a strange-shaped keyhole. Sir, we have a visitor, another lowborn. Stop it. I don't care about... I don't care about your lore. I get it probably should have been reading this huh did you feel that look out something is coming oh what have i done scale tunnel what oh my god i have friends is this what it's like they're helping me all right that's fine we just have like enemies that i've never fought before um hey probably want to kill these holes dude this is a nightmare really wish i've been reading what they said throw Throw, jump when needed. All right. These are normal bugs. That's fine. Don't let them scare you just because they have a different projectile effect. Can I just let these guys die? And then, like, get in there for free? What an event. <laughs> Dude, I was not expecting this. You gotta die, brother. Dude, it killed the girl. No. No. That was round one. Um. Um. Okay. Well, I want you to look at what's happening. And I want you to genuinely tell me that you think that this is a fair amount of enemies to have in a single room. Because, like, I don't. Of course they do poison damage. Why wouldn't they? Why can I not walk over the door? You're causing unnecessary obstructions. Also, those people freaking died, dude. Yo, what I would not give for Ricochet Pickaxe right now, or even, like, the Chakram. I don't care how long this takes. Oh, good, they have wings. That's great. The bug demons from the other dimension are evolving to progress faster in our universe. I saw this in Aliens 1 and 2, the Predator, and I think also the Terminator. But definitely in It Comes from the Fog. What was that movie with Stephen King? Where they all die at the end and then get saved because Stephen King can't allow people to feel happiness. No more. Oh, boy. Just focus on the freaking tunnels, dude. I'm going to die in this room. I'm going to die in this room. I'm going to die in this room. Ah! Look at this. What do I do, man? Why do they all have shields? Stop it! My sweet god. <sighs> Alright, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. If you like the episode, hit the like button. If not, I don't care. If you want more, subscribe. I'll see you next time. It's a freaking game, dude.